थ्री स्टेप्स टू पीस इन अफगानिस्तान एज द नाइट मेयर इन द एशियन कंट्री टर्न डॉकर India acts as a voice of reason. Balancing the scales against Pakistan, which is enhancing Taliban-e terror. India's Foreign Minister Subramanyam Jayashankar participated in a key meeting on July 14. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization's contact group on Afghanistan. The SCO consists of countries in the region who will be directly impacted by developments in Afghanistan. Here's the three-point roadmap India presented at the meeting: an independent, neutral, unified, peaceful, democratic, and prosperous Afghanistan, ceasing violence and terror attacks, and settling conflict via dialogue. ensuring that neighbors are not threatened by terror separatism or extremism jay shankar also made veiled references to pakistani meddling in afghanistan pointing out how some forces are against peace in the country here's what he said We must act seriously and sincerely since there are forces at work with a different agenda. The world is against seizure of power by violence and won't legitimize such action. Peace talks are the only answer. An acceptable compromise based on the Doha, Moscow and Istanbul processes is needed. The future of Afghanistan cannot be its past. A new generation has different expectations. America's hasty exit from the country in the absence of a comprehensive peace deal has only made matters worse. What happens next is very important for India. Taliban's return to power could have a spillover effect on terrorism in Jammu and Kashmir. India's investment in development projects in Afghanistan is also at risk. The fall of an India-friendly Afghan government could be another domino in China's bid to encircle India with vassal states.